<coughs> All right, back onto this India now. So the uh, I worked on it the other day for a few hours, getting these handlebars all wired up. We had to put a new switch up in here. We had all this dash off the tank off. We got the uh, electric starter button working now over there. All the electrical's working, except for the horn. For some reason, the horn doesn't want to work. But uh, other than that, we got everything else all working. Now this has a lot of oil in the crank, and I filled up the oil tank. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to drain the oil out of the motor as it runs. So I took off the oil filter there, and I put the uh, towels there so it'll just drip into that pan. So it'll come out of the, uh, where the filter housing is here, just blow into that rag, and it should dump onto the, into the pan there. There's probably a quart or two of oil in this crank from sitting, because it dumps a lot of oil out the breather here in the back. And I'm going to have to get me another pan for that, I think. I didn't do that yet. So basically, the oil level right now is about here on the tank. And we're going to pump that down about a quart, and I'll shut the motor off. And that should get all the oil flush out of the bike and have fresh oil in it. But we don't know what we got in there right now. But we got something. All right, so do that. Let me get the pan real quick. I forgot it. Right underneath the breather tube right there. So that'll catch any overflow oil that's coming out of there. So hopefully everything's going to drain in the pans and not on the rack now. But we'll find out. Alright, I got gas I just put in it. So I guess get the pet cock is on. That's always a fun thing to figure out in this place. Reserve. I put a gallon of gas in it, so there's only so much in there. All right, so this hasn't run for a while. Hopefully, the carburetor is not all plugged up. We'll find out. You never know. Trailer pop probably doesn't work either, I bet. Let's see if the starter button will work here now. says no gas. Should have lit off. One more time. All right. Pull the air cleaner off, see if there's any gas in there. I doubt if there is. So I got oil coming out of the uh, container there. over the carburetor. That'll suck the fuel up to the float bowl where all the fuel is at. A little gas in it now. Got some stinky gas. Alright. 
wonderful. So it's got gas, but it ain't doing anything. Which usually means there's no spark. So we're going to find out if we've got any spark in this thing. So I take a couple of test spark plugs. Test spark plug is a plug where you cut the electrode off. So you have a big gap to fire. That'll test the ignition. See if it's got any ignition. Because right now it should have started. If it had ignition, it should have started anyway. So all we got to do is pull off the spark plug wire over here. Put the spark plug in there. Lay it down somewhere next to some kind of ground. So you can see it fire. Okay, we should be able to see both these spark plugs down here firing. This one right here and this one over there. Ignition's on. So, we have spark. We're already out of power on the battery though. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Alright, so why did it not fire? So, if we have spark and we have compression and we have fuel, it should run. As long as the timing's in the right spot. So, my guess is the carburetor's plugged up for the idle circuit. It doesn't work. And the battery's already getting dead. Which it shouldn't be dead already. We just charge it up. It's one of my good batteries. All right, so I'm gonna get a battery charger. We'll be back. Okay, I'm waiting for the battery to charge up a little bit. I'm taking seven amps right now. Drew. Drug the battery down pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a trick here. I'm going to pull out the idle mixture screw here. And I'm going to blow air in there and see if there's anything in there and blow it out hopefully. I'll screw a little bit of shot of brake clean in there and then blow on it. And then hopefully if it's plugged up, it'll unplug it at least, at least enough to start. So I have to pull the whole carburetor apart. Assuming that's not the problem, we don't know. We'll find out. First thing we want to do is find out how far the screws out. Yeah, one, no, one and a half. As long as you know where you start, you can get back to the same spot. It should be all right. Bottom of the hole. Oh. It's wet up in there, that's a good sign. We got a little rotten gas coming out of the, in the carburetor. It wasn't clean fuel, that's for sure. Even though we had the tank off and there was no fuel in it, you put new gas on top of it, we got a bunch of nasty crap coming out of it. Which I'm sure is not going to be good for starting purposes, but oh well. Take a little shot of brake clean. And take a rubber tipped air nozzle. Stick on top of that. Don't stand in front of the carburetor. Okay, it's open. It's dripping fuel out, so that means it blew some fuel out. That's good. Means air pressure is going through. 
All right, so hopefully that means the idle circuit's open. It might just be the gas is so rotten it doesn't want to burn. It's cold out, which does not help. enough to start anyway. We'll get a little extra just to make sure it's cold. I don't know if it wants to choke in there or not. Let's see how much fuel is in the motor. Not too much. It's wet, but it's not flooded. At least now we can see it. Okay, let's see if this thing will start. Give it a few cranks, see what happens here. Spinning pretty good there. All right, so we got a bike that don't want to start, and it's got everything it needs to start. Wonderful. Obviously, if something is not correct. Let's go pull the spark plug to look at them. if they're all wet or something. It's hard to believe they're already all wet, but I don't know. Well, I know it's about around a couple of years ago. It should run again. Plugs are wet. This one's not drenched. This one's pretty wet. Looks to me like the gasoline just doesn't want to burn. I guess. Clean the plugs with the uh, fuel, I mean a brake clean, blew them off, should be good. So, one trick I used to do, you can heat the plugs up, get them hot, that does help. But, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. So I'm going to spin the motor through without the plugs in it, see what happens. See if these spark plugs fire. We know the other ones did. Got a good spark. Spark plug wires got mixed up, maybe. That would definitely cause issues.
Try that again. Reverse the plug wires. I doubt if that's going to make any difference. I'd be shocked if it did. Is the problem? You don't like me. This problem. I can think of the gasoline in there is not very good. Even though it's got fresh gas on top of whatever's in the tank, and the tank was dry. You think whatever's in there run, but whatever came out stinks and smells like old gas. Try it one more time. I don't think it'll make any difference. You never know. Nope. Alright. So I'm going to try some new gas. I'm going to plumb a gas tank on it directly, eliminate the tank, drain the carburetor, put some fresh fuel, and that's good fuel at the carburetor, not just good fuel in the tank. See if that makes any difference. All I know is whatever we're doing now is not working. So, it doesn't work, try something different. That's all we can do. Luckily on the s, &S carburetor, it's easy to get to. So just drain the fuel out of it. Some red, pukey, rusty crap came out of the fuel. Yeah, I don't know. You couldn't see that, but boy, it was some, it had red puke come out for fuel. It was pretty nasty. So whatever was in the bottom of that gas tank was pretty nasty. Now it's coming out clean fuel. I got to drain the crap that's in the carburetor out. So whatever in the bottom of those gas tanks, when I put the new fuel in there, it really ate it up. Now it's coming out. See, look at that reddish crap that came out of there. I don't know if you can see that junk on there.
pretty nasty stuff. Same stuff in the carburetor in there. Okay, so this came out clean fuel. So we're gonna we're gonna put this back up on here. I'm gonna turn the pack on and let it drain over the whole motor. And we're gonna drain that until it comes out more clean. There, see how now it's nice and clean looking. Deal. If it's still pouring out of there, go the other direction with the pack, huh? Damn phone line. Hey, I'm not here today. Hello? Yeah. It ain't like I got nothing better to do than answer phone around here. Okay, so we got nice clean fuel came out now. So that should make a big difference on this thing for running. Charger's getting down too. Okay, so I'm going to hook all this stuff back up here. We're going to try it again. Maybe getting clean fuel in here will make a big difference. Sure can't hurt. There's definitely some nasty stuff in there. Smells like real gasoline there. Wipe off the excess. Appears to be a bunch of raw fuel on the bench down here. Soak it up a little bit of the rag here. that thing outside. Alright. This is full of gas too, it's gonna go dump it. Alright, now the fire won't be quite so much. Petcock on. Petcock is on. Get this out of the way just in case. Alright. Plug it back in. Alright, let's see what happens this time. Like I said before, all we got was a bunch of nothing. See if it's got atomization out of burn.
Yeah, Look at all the oil coming out. It's pouring out of every surface in the world here. You can almost fill that pan up. Okay. I think I got more oil in the, that pan back here and this pan. <laughs> this is coming out of our breather. This is supposed to be an engine breather back here. This here's our oil filter here, which makes more sense. See how it's all foamed up real good? This one's not so foamy. All right, and we sucked up about a quart of oil here, plus probably another quart of oil that was in the motor. You notice how it runs a lot better when you get fresh gas in the motor. Yeah, you know, once that vaporized fuel hit the hit the inside of the spark plug where it matters, it lit off. There you go. Okay, I got a little work to do now. I got to clean up all this oil. I got to put the oil filter back on it, clean up the mess, and then light it off again. So we'll be back in a couple minutes.